can't put it in the middle there. Oh, put, yes. it. <laughs> put it there for you. All right. It's a different chair. It's a different chair. It's not a big chair. It's not a big chair. It's different. Okay, good afternoon and welcome to today's press conference. We will preview the Burnley game today and then just notification for next week after Thursday night's game, we will review the weekend's game preview the weekend's game, so there won't be a press conference next Friday. Um, we'll start today with Gail and Sky Sports News. Afternoon. Afternoon. Um, not many out there in training. Didn't see you out in the rain either. Um, I was after, after, after you go in. When it eased up a bit, yeah? Yes, no, it was worse. <laughs> yes, <it> was. <laughs> um, tell us what sort of shape are your squad in? I know they've been all around the world and everyone's been arriving back quite late. Who... We've seen the longer term injuries, but who to expect to have available for Saturday afternoon? Well, still we need to assess a few players like Chilwell that came from the national team playing two games after but he didn't play with us and played two games and was I think get a, got a knock in the the leg the leg in his in his knee and today uh, wasn't ready to to train and see. What happened uh, tomorrow is can be available to be on the squad or not. We need to assess him. A few other players also, like uh, Enzo, still didn't arrive. Um, and then, yes, today was a training session that to put all a little bit in the same you know, level and to check if for tomorrow to prepare the game and, and see if they can be available. But not too many... Uh, new news. With Chilwell, given that he was injured a few weeks ago, we know that he has been injured a number of times this season. Uh, were you surprised he then played the two games? It, you were surprised? Were you surprised? That but you played? were surprised. Oh no, I'm sorry, sorry. You were surprised he played two games for England, given that you were trying to manage his workload and because of the numbers of injuries he's had. You sounded a little surprised. Surprise, no surprise, I don't know, is you know, if not cannot play with us or cannot be available, that is the first thing. Uh, and because they didn't play after Brentford with us, only play a few minutes in the game against Leicester in the FA Cup. Yes, mm, yes, was, no, was a little the, the situation that, you know, um, that start two games, uh, Yeah, maybe it's it's surprise for us, but I think he's yes, uh, but luck because he got a dead leg in the last moment on the game against Belgium, Belgium, uh, Belgium, and now we need to struggle and we need to play, you know, in our club. Um, yes, that is a <laughs> another thing, that, no, but luck that we have because now we need to see, we need to assess if it can be available or not. Um, Lavia, we know is not available the rest of the season uh, I mean I guess you can't miss what you haven't really had but how is he because he's made this big money move he's played 32 minutes it must be really hard on a player like that yes it's really it's really difficult situation for him and of course he's, uh, he's sad it's not uh, of course he's not happy because only play 30 minutes that was for a, for a player that arrived new on the club but I think yes, it's a yes, it's it's a scene that uh, you know that sometimes happen in football. When we sign him, when the club sign him, he arrived with problems from Southampton. If you remember, he has uh, cannot uh, didn't uh, come to to train with us in in the first uh, months, and then when he started to be ready to prepare, and um, he suffered. A problem in his feet and, and suffered a surgery, and then when he recovered, uh, play yes only 30 minutes and got injured and from I think it was December no December we didn't have the possibility to train uh, with him because never was available for training never was really close you know and that is 
the thing that is in the last few months, uh, after December, for four months, that we have never the possibility to to train with uh, with him. And yes, really sad uh, news because, you know, always for a player that arrives to the new club, want to perform, want to play, want to help the team. And yes, now we need to wait the, the next pre-season and the next season for him to be available again and, and try to help the team. Um, just Cole Palmer, uh, I wondered, is he fully fit for you? He obviously missed the Brazil game. He was on the bench against Belgium, but didn't come on. Uh, how's he? And is he a little bit frustrated because it's such a short window to impress, to get on that plane? And does he feel like he maybe missed out a little bit? Yes, I was talking with him. Uh, yes, he's a little bit disappointed because he cannot uh, play or perform in the with the national team. Uh, I think the first the first game was with a small I mean, small problem, you know. And I and I think he thought that maybe he can play on the second game against Bench, but uh, didn't play. But now he's okay. Was training well and. Hope still one training session more tomorrow, but I think I think the plan is uh, if he's followed tomorrow in the same way, I think will be available to to be on the on the game Saturday. And just finally for me, um, last time we saw you play Leicester FA Cup game, um, Sterling was the subject of some booze from your fans, and I was interested to read the quotes from Nani this morning talking from about. Who? Nonny Medwecki. I didn't read. Yeah, if you can, yes. how, how harsh and unfair and upsetting it is. And also, what an exceptional character he is around the place. He said, we know how important he is to us. I wondered how important he is to you as you look to rebuild the club and where you see him kind of going forward and if it's affecting him. I think he's uh, about to be calm now and accept uh, the situation. And the most important with our experience to manage and deal with these type of things. And then we are talking about a very experienced player. I think uh, we're not can, what we can do, cannot do, is to create more, you know, uh, bigger things that were emotional in us in some point, you know, because I really believe the fans love our player and love and support our player. And, and for sure they are going to support him and the rest of the team. Um, I think is. I know that the, the teammate need to be a good teammate, you know, and player can talk and can express the, the emotion also and the opinion. But I think we need to be careful in the way that we are going to, to talk and to give our opinion, because I think we need to build a strong relationship in between everyone, and I think things like this, uh, I think we need to, of course, uh, understand, but not to be agree. Like I said after my press conference, after my the game and my press conference, not agree because I think uh, always the players want to perform well and to play well and score goals uh, and the keeper safe safe goals and the defensive, uh, you know, player need to save tackles and perform really well. This type of situation is is bigger maybe than the only the to only to pay attention on on what happened. I think I was also you know suffering the the anger of the fans because of the disappointment disappointment of the fans and the some player also. And the, I think the whole team were you know suffering this situation. But I think the, the most important is that uh, Rain is, is, is an experienced player and for sure he understands and, and also uh, he made a statement after, uh, after the game and explained the, the situation. And look, and now we need to move on. We need to move on. I, we, I think to try uh, for us to help, you know, to protect our active, our principal active that are the player, that is our responsibility, like a club. And then the player to understand that, yes, we need to make the effort to try to convince uh, our fans that we are in a very good way. But I think it's, it's obvious that we all love our players, 
the teammate love their teammate and the teammate need to love their fans and the fans need to love the, the player, you know, and love the club. And I think it's a connection that we need to create that because if not, we are going to lose not only us, if not the fans and everyone is going to lose. And that is why we need to, you know, to be careful in the way that we go to talk and translate our opinion and our emotion. We understand complete our fans because it's about the emotion and on the pitch. And we pay attention. Also, we pay attention on the street when we are there because people, you know, people is is a little bit different. But I think when you want to win and you want to uh, see your uh, your club doing well, which is normal that it happens because it's not I'm going to repeat, but it's, it's about the, the expectation. The expectation is so, so big. It's like uh, we need to win the game before to start. I think we need to start, uh, you know, before uh, the whistle or the kickoff is 4 nil, you know, but we need to play and we need to perform and we need to win the games. But I think uh, we, we are calm. We are calm always, you know, with a feeling the responsibility and we want to create a very good, you know, atmosphere with our fans. I hope uh, Saturday we can create this, in, this atmosphere and, and be helpful again for our fans. Thank you. Alex, PLP. Alex Hello. Came back from behind to beat Burnley last October. With them <coughs> fighting for survival, what kind of game are you expecting? Always going to be difficult. And I think it's a team that play very free, freedom. They feel free to play and I think they run a lot. They are a very physical team with good players, young players. Um, yes, I think going to be always tough. For us, always is tough. It's going to be tough because I think we need to be in a different place, and um, we need uh, we need to win. We need to uh, to perform well, and always because Premier League can never uh, you're going to find a easy a easy game. But Burnley is a is a very good team. It's a very exciting team to to watch, and of course, uh, it's going to be difficult. You have a lot of experience managing in the Premier League. Vincent Company doesn't, but what do you think of him as a manager? No, I think he's doing well. He was great on the last season on, on championship, um, and now they are win, doing well. Uh, we need to, you know, to see <laughs> uh, that his job is amazing. He's doing fantastic because we how we measure the the job is not only about result; it's about the the process and performance, and see, you know, the the potential of the of the team. And of course, they are doing a fantastic. He's doing a fantastic job. Him and his coaching staff. With eleven league games to go, what is your message to your players ahead of this final part of the season? And have you got a realistic target in your head? Is to win the next game. I think we cannot to plan too much and to go to. To the end, I think we need to to plan to win the next game. The next game is the most important, and then we will need to to move in, in to the, the next one. Of course, with all the circumstances like we were talking before, I think the most important is to try to get the best balance. Um, I think is uh, fighting with these circumstances. I think it's always about to you know to try to be right in our decision every time that we need to pick the starting eleven or, the, or in the game plan to for every single game. Thank you very much. Thanks, Alex. Last question in broadcast is Raman. Mauricio, if I could just ask you about Romeo Lavia again. You said he arrived from Southampton with a problem and it took him a while to make his debut and it was just for 30 minutes. Was it a relapse of the problem he arrived with or that was a new problem that has kept him out and will now keep him out for the rest of the season? Sorry, you can repeat, sorry. He said, last yeah, yeah, I understand, but the last, the last part, you say... Is it the same problem that he arrived from Southampton that is going to keep... No, different, 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 different no. problem. If, can you share a bit of details on that? But it's difficult to explain all the situation, no, it's difficult to explain because I am not doctor, you know, and be precise in the, in the formation. But uh, the most important is to make clear that we, in nine months, only a few weeks was with us, directly training with the, with us. And the most important is, yes, is, is that the, uh, he arrived and he cannot train because 
I think when the club signed him was injured and I think it was his uh, hip or I don't know, it was a problem. And then when he started to train with us, he suffered a, a knock in his uh, feet and suffered a surgery. Yeah. When after he was training with us a few weeks, he was available again on Berhampton, but didn't go in. And then again, Crystal Palace goes 30 minutes and got injured in his quad. And then never again have the po has the possibility to, to train with us. That is why <laughs> maybe, you know, son, I, 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 I don't know, you show me, son, oh, the method of Pochettino are so hard, no? I say, what if he didn't train with, no. with, with me? Uh, yeah, but that is the people that need to talk. But uh, if, uh, no, it's, yeah, it's sad. It's a sad situation, no? It's a sad, sad situation that hope that he can become stronger, for sure. It's, we are going to help to become stronger and, um, yes, and be available for the pre-season and then for the next season to show his real quality. Yeah. Have you ever had a situation like this? Almost every week, there's about eight to nine players out injured. Yeah, more, 10, 12. That's the team of this, this season. Have you ever had to deal with a situation like that in your Before? Yes, before. The, no. Always, no? <laughs> Something happened after 15 years, you know, being coach. One season maybe happened like this. Thank you. Thank you. Cameras off, please. That's the end of the broadcast section. And we're now going to do the newspaper section. We're going to start with...